My name is Rook. I currently play drums for Machine Gun Kelly. My uh, first inspirational moment that kind of sparked my interest in music was um, kind of my father. He, uh, he always played drums in a band growing up, uh, in a band called Damien. And uh, so drums were kind of always at my disposal. So ever since about two or three years old, I've always just had a drum kit around. And I mean, he never really had much time, much time to teach me because he was a little wild. And so I kind of just took it upon myself to, uh, you know, just play every day and just kind of teach myself. And he gave me some things along the way. What I used to do is just, I used to just listen to all kinds of music in, in my headphones and I would just play to it. You know, I, would, I tried to not stick on one type of music because as time went on, I was starting to be like, you know, if, if if I want to like make this a career and do something with it, maybe like it might not be a rock band that wants you. It might not be just a rap band that wants you. You know, it's like there's too many genres of music to where you can have an opportunity to go to. So I wanted to like be ready for any like opportunities that would be able to come. I realized I wanted to pursue drumming as a career um, at like, like I said, at a super young age. Uh, I used to get pulled aside in school a lot by my counselors because you know I would be late a lot of the time, and it's because I was always like going to concerts with my dad or like you know staying up late practicing and all that. And you know they used to hit you with the statistics like oh you know like it's not really that big of a statistic to be like a rock star you know. So and I was just I, and I would tell them the same thing every day. I was just I was so like in love with that that. I think I was more in love with the fact that people kept telling me that I couldn't do it because it wasn't, it's like, oh, it's just not, it's, the odds aren't good enough. The odds are always against you when you want to do something to that level. So I feel like that kind of drove me to like want to be better. It drove me to want to sit and practice. It drove me to just, it, I fell in love with it. That's all it really is to say. Some of my idols, um, I guess I try, I try not to watch too many drummers because I didn't want to make myself appear to look like another drummer. So, but you know, you have to, to know what's out there and you have to know like what you're up against. So uh, I think really the only two idols I like mainly focused on when I was younger was uh, Tommy Aldridge. He used to play with my aunt Ruby Starr back in the 70s in a band called Black Oak, Arkansas. And so Tommy Lee was one of my main idols growing up and I actually had the chance to meet him um, through Kells and uh, he you know kind of set it up and we, we the first time I met him we were playing a show and he was opening up for us DJing with DJ Arrow he has like his own side project that he does and we like we got we knew he was on the show we had got there and his dressing room was like right by us and like you know he talked to him he had already been in contact with him I got to talk to him it was awesome it was just like because you know like I said there's only very few people it was like him and one other guy I ever idolized growing up as far as the drumming went and like so to me that was like awesome, like wow. And he was super cool, hung out for a while. He wasn't like, he just awesome dude. We hung out another time too as well. And he was awesome that time. So that was a great opportunity and awesome to know that somebody you look up to is like dope and they're not like, you know, might encounter him on the wrong day. <laughs> I got linked up with Machine Gun Kelly through a, uh, one of his mutual friends through Slim I've been in contact with and um, I had been sending them some videos and stuff and, and I, I, didn't, I didn't even know if they were looking for a drummer or anything but I was just, you know, that, you know Ohio boys tend to hold each other down so uh, I'm like, you know, what are the chances? So I'm, you know, I'm sending, sending and so basically I was, I was sitting in them, it was my last class of the day and I was like, and it was so funny because when I had, had been in contact with them, we had talked and then there was like a two week period where I didn't hear anything back. So I kind of was like, oh, you know, maybe just things didn't you know, go how they were supposed to go, whatever, it's all good. And then I was randomly sitting in class one day, like last period of the day, super, I was like super irritated about something, just sitting there, phones ringing. I'm like, man, who is calling me right now? Who would be calling me? I look it and it's them calling. I literally ran out of my classroom. My teacher's like, yo, I'm writing you up. I'm like, write me up. Go ahead, do what you gotta do, man. Like, they were like, yo, can you come to Cleveland today? I'm like, of course, bring a drum kit, got it. Went, I literally left school that day. I never went back to school. Never went back to school. I love that part. <laughs> yeah!